I'm a home baby. Oh, look at this, Uncle Mike. Yeah. It's all something that looked very intriguing in the side of this tote. Come Those on, free uh... jewelry. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. We are here, we're about to get started once again in this millionaire doctor storage unit. I paid $33.75. Real quick background story. The reason why I call it a millionaire story is it's very simple. I did my due diligence as well as others. And this family, they had a very long history of making over $200,000 a year between the two of them. One was a doctor, one was like in industrial arts or so forth. Also dabbled in racing. But anybody who makes $200,000 a year, fifth, five years is a million dollars. Okay, let's say you did it for 10 years. That's $2 million. You obviously at some point are considered a millionaire. They were a very prominent a family they ended up moving out of state left this stuff here almost a decade ago or so and basically walked away from it at some point because they got tired of paying on it so that's where the title comes from with that being said we are going to get started we're going to get going through this video don't forget the like button the share button subscribe button if you're already and turn on all notifications to all it's set to personalize their none possibly because that's the new feature and you want to be on all i love y'all let's get started you're seeing nothing but brand new stuff coming out look at these brand new Two dollar and fifty cents. You believe it or not, those are probably twenty five a piece. Yeah, pennies. J C pennies. He's saying he's not saying panty. There's one, two. It's just medium. It's medium. Look at that level of dust. This is one of the most dustiest things I've seen in a long time. Jam back. No. No. Oh, we lost. That's gold right there, Uncle Mike. But look at the piece of furniture. I see that. Wow. This is gonna oh. be good. This is gonna be good. Look at this cabinet right here. <laughs> Golden hits, our silver anniversary. You know what that says? Torero. So it looks like classical. Really good shape looking though, huh? Covers are outstanding. You don't normally see them like this. Maybe these will be good on lots on the YouTube auction. Yeah. Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Music to keep your husband happy. That's a good one. Priceless. One of my favorite places to look in a in a in a room is in the dresser drawer. If I'm packing somebody's stuff, they usually tend to put some of their best stuff in a dresser drawer. Ah, oh, rats. She did not. She did not beat him. Let's look at that in a second. Stamps. Look at this. It matches the purse. It does, and it's good. So this will go in an auction item too. Stamps are money, right there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, these are all usable. Look at that. Stamps, 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 stamps. More stamps. More stamps. Luxury High Rise Lake Tahoe Harvey's Lucky Token. Costume jewelry. Belova, that's nice. All right. YouTube auction. Another calculator for my calculator lot. Mouse traps. Ooh, that's, uh, I want to keep all these. Jeff Field, you should keep that. We're going to use these for the field. This is the type of stuff I'm setting aside, but I have more beakers. Yeah. No. Yeah. More drawers? Oh, you go upwards again. Under Julian. Brand new price tag. I don't think they're famous. Okay, this was the coolest thing I thought I saw. We saved it till the end. We got earring backs. We got earring backs. Costume. I was hoping that was gold. It looks silverish right there. Costume. Jewelry parts. All right. So much to go. Is it, there's not the JP in there, right? Okay. What is that? Okay. There we go. <laughs> to be careful. There it is. Set that over there. That's kind of a nice set. I would probably take that home. I don't know. I would. I will. Let's just get to the J pieces. I'm not worried about Tupperware right now. I will. 
We're trying to make a video, Uncle Michael, for about dollar items. No, I'll take it home. One more? No, it's corny That is corny Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh. Yes! Look at that. Hummingbirds. No, 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 hummingbirds. What? Yeah, they are hummingbirds. I don't even want to touch it because I'm afraid it's not going to... Birds, that's a beautiful piece. Wow. And I want to say... That's Jade. It looks flawless right now. Okay. Come home, baby. Oh, yes. That that's tight. That's birds. That's birds as well, as well as Jade. Yes. I don't even want to mess with it. It says... These are very, very fragile. Yeah, they are. We need to take special care of those. Hmm. Indian wool blanket, high value. I think we're gonna take a look at that one. Wool blanket. Oh, it's just like blankets for days. This is neat, it was marked Indian wool blanket and it said high value potential. Look, it's got a seam down the middle where they seamed it together. It's got, it looks like Thunderbird. It's pretty large size. This is definitely something that I would get looked at. Costume. Diversity. All right. Our costume's good because, uh, you know, we saw that at right, Uncle Mike? But what is it? Costume touring. Oh. Nothing. Why don't you just leave your glasses on? They make things a lot easier. Oh. Ooh. Hummingbird 22 karat gold painting, it says on it. Age to perfection. You should wear that, Uncle Michael. So when people say, hey, you're this old. That's a good example. That was not jewelry. Nothing. Oh. What? Who's your? Who's you scared of? Something broke. Oh, it got you. Look at that. More of the Pyrex stuff. These things are gonna be money. There's like a handful of them right there. Something tells me it's really nice. Something tells you. It wasn't even broke. It just got you. You just got to be careful when you put it back in the box. Uh, Is it nice? It was, but you broke it. No, it was broke in here. Counterpoint, San Francisco. This is good. Some of this stuff is real good. Some of it is trivial. There's no rhyme or reason in when the way they packed. Oh, look at this, Uncle Mike. Yep. <laughs> we found money. What is that? Very neat little things. Oh, please be a Rolex. Nice. Can you guess what's in there, Uncle Michael? Razor. 10 karat gold. Nice, very cheap. Here's a little uh, ball and chain. All right. I'm gonna put it back in this box. What can I just box? I think it's good. Look at that, Zylog. That's a good vintage hat right there, actually. Most of the stuff's just gonna end up back in here. We're gonna sell it at a later date and have to go find tooth coma because like everything to me is really cool. Ballet vase. Another vase. Oh. Earring not included. I wonder if the little one would like that. Yeah, she loves unicorns. We're on a quick break here. Clint's here with us. Like I said, we're getting all that stuff loaded to go to the storage unit. I'm going through some random stuff, random, putting some cool stuff aside for the auction. We're whittling a hole in this unit. Because I, I, when I hopped in, I saw all these records. 
and I feel like there's a safe in here and a jewelry box, and I just want to get to that. So much stuff in here. I saw something that looked very intriguing in the side of this tote. It's that. That's what I get for thinking. What does that thing do? This is a nutcracker, right? Or something like that? No. You know what it is? When they, you know when they say they got you by the balls? No, That's I, what they use. I can tell you what this is. What? When you get too old, you use this opening jars of mayonnaise and such. I should bring that home for the kids. Peanut butter, so, so on and so forth. Uh, you do some of the flea market stuff. Yeah. This will be a good flea market load. This is one of my favorite boxes. Bedroom items from dresser storage. What do you think could be in that box? Maybe some gold? Come on. Oh, that maybe? This looks intriguing though. See how it's like all cool vintage stuff? I mean, look at these. What are these? Like, Brooms. for what? What do you do with these? You got a gang of them. Come on. Oh, come Those on. Uh... Jewelry. Ooh, that is jewelry, Uncle Mike. Let's set that aside to be looked at later. We'll have to inspect that. There we go. Make a pile. Those are good colored pencils. Those are vintage. Modern manicure. Look at that thing. That's vintage. That is actually pretty. Oh, it's got little batteries. It's, it, it's upside down. Damn it. Whatever that was, was nice. Tags for days. What did they do? Well, I was hoping to see jewelry in here, but... I do believe we're going to find some really nice jewelry in this unit somewhere. This. Ooh. You know what that's for? It's, thing. it's for making alcohol, isn't it? It says distiller. Interesting. This is a good let's just this is a good box. Can this be promising? That is neat. Interesting. It's some type of orange tree. That's a good item. Uncle Michael, what do you think that is? For the sake of not filming a bunch of boring records, will you skim through this and tell me if you think there is any good records and save them out to film? This right here that Uncle Michael's touching here, that's rat teeth. Come on. Please be sterling silver. It feels like it's been forever since I found sterling silver. Cut the back off and why you do that thing the hard way. Look at my children. Uh, I'm sad. It's not sterling silver. It's a nice set. Yeah, but it's not sterling silver, don't think. It's Japan. That's all it says. A bunch of five dollars. They're five dollars for sure. In the, in the world of selling stuff, Canon is a very good brand. I don't know what model the Canon is. What's that money on? It's a Canon lens. It's the light fixture. Okay, it's like an extension. This is the money right here. Let's open this up. This should, this should just pop up. Yeah. Then this can come out. No? Oh. There you go. Please be a good one. Nice. It's an AE1 with the Vivitar series and it's got an additional thing. I bet you that's at least 100 there. I don't know off, off without looking up the A1, but Canon's a good brand. This definitely goes in the good pile right here. I like boxes that when you... When you go to open them, there's nothing on them. Those are usually my favorite boxes in a unit that is full of words all over the boxes. So let's see. Gets annoying when you ruin good clips because you can't now have a potty mouth. You do swear, you swear nonstop and it's old. I feel sorry for your grandkid always listening to you cursing. 
Like, Lo and behold, this was not a good one. Looks like we need a flea market. You can't open it? Oh, it's a mantle clock. They never impressed me. It's a Plymouth, SF Plymouth made in USA. That's kind of intriguing because it says SF. Well, it says SF on it. This will definitely be a good item, maybe for the auction, maybe for Alameda. I would say Starbucks is out. Empty your water bottle out and pee in it. Mm. They're pack rats. Oh, that's do still doing that. Pre-ordered stuff. Yeah. The... That's just DVD case. I don't even want to open that up. This is. Bait oh, tools. what's that say? Accidental insurance. Half of a thousand over thirty. Where is what goes in here? Power of attorney insurance. Mm, come on. That's a good another one of those. <laughs> All right, keep on. This is probably flea market stuff here. This should go with that. Look at this singular rat turd right there. I want you to shake shake this and tell me what you think is in there. Shake it. It says fragile. Can't, I have really no clue. I hear paper. I hear jingly like, like jewelry. Oh yeah. Oh wow. This is fragile. You see this weird stuff right here? You need these? Q-tips? No. Oh yeah, for my dogs. Is that what that's for? Yeah. Chemistry and that's physics, like, that's... Yeah, Clint, will you do me a favor and read this real quick while you're just sitting there? That's weird. The world's largest cork. Look at that. These are strangest <laughs> toothpicks I've ever seen. That's funny. That's what the rattle was, was this thing. What is that? Is that jewelry? Then uh, uh, doctor stuff? Screws and uh, little oh. hooks through the walls. All right, so this box was a Good sham. Uh, really? Did you look at this? I did not. I gave up. Oh, look. Little little condoms for you, Uncle Michael. Oh, look for your fingers. Oh, I thought those were for you. Squirt gun. I was wrong. I'm gonna give those away at Payless right now. See, I'm saying. Okay, but can you cut open the case? I just want to see if it's. Okay. Is that the only thing in here? Because that is not ivory. Very well, could be. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, what is that? Well, I'm gonna put this. Is that shrimp? It is. What? Shrimp tails. Why? What? You can, you can eat it one setting. Let me see this. I've never in my life seen shrimp. What is the point of that? Someone out there, comment below why you would save shrimp. Look, there's more. Oh my God. Big That's what caught my eye though first thing. Look what's in your hand. Oh, I thought it was a knife, uh, a gun cleaning kit. Nope, it's a knife slicer. Silly me. It's a good one. That's a good one? What is that? It's a statue of a ship. Nope. It is a piece of... Maybe. Is that the bait? 
What a weird stuff. A scale. It is. Yeah. Some type of scale, and we got crystals. All right. This box claims to have jade trees in it. Good kind of bad. Who? All these, all these people are on the move right now. It's all ones that are like off their job and getting booted for not being rent. Oh. This is like the most promising looking of any box we've looked in so far. So these, I'm, I'm filming right now. This is a stand. Okay, so these ones here are gonna be the jade trees. We wanna keep these aside. to have one when you were a kid. This is interesting, some type of weird. This is a good item here. Microchip. Wanna crack that open? No, this, uh, what in the world is this? It's a bird feeder. And candy jars. I'm curious if they're like paintings, family pictures. Interesting. It doesn't look like a drawing. They could be though, yeah. Drawing by, yeah, these are uh, art from the person's art that goes with the rest of this collection right here. So those we'll just leave there. The rest is just regular. I want to see one, so it's... Bonsai. They said they were jade trees. Mm. They're nice. Jade. Not high-end jade, but those will be good. I'll probably put those on my online auction on YouTube. Pirate auctions. There's four of those. Almost three. Almost three. Why'd you just jump when you got near that ramp? Because they're obviously dead. Yeah, he's a rapper. That's great. Oh, this box right here is just a mess. We have all sorts of neat little things. National Speleological Society. I have no idea what that is. We got a letter B. Corvair. Okay, got some patches. This is an interesting little box right here. What else do we got? Norelco. Shaver. Oh, what do we got here? Somebody was uh, smoking the pipe, but the chain we can set aside. Let's set all this aside. But look at this. Congressional. Hobans Company. They're just neat little pins. We got a silver ring. We got a lock and key. We got a bunch of medals. I don't know what they are. That's neat. We'll definitely have to take a little closer look at these. Make sure we don't have any gold. I see some coinery in there. That's a neat little. I can't see him here. Right. 
That's a neat little box there. A sprocket. Okay, the Speological Society. I have no idea what that is. Northern California Alaskan Mailman Association. This is capital D right there. <laughs> Rock specimens. What is this? Engraved initial ensemble. All right. Okay. Envelopes. Portraits. Envelopes. All right. Little forks. They're literally little forks. Okay. Look at that. Is that a transformer watch right there? That is intriguing because that is a transformer. That could be money right there. What in the tarnations is this? Autocross, May 1964. Richard. Pow Wow. Five driver. This right here is an intriguing little thing. I don't have any idea what this Bay Region Auto Championship. Hoo-hoo. Memorial Mix-Up. Corvair. Bay Area Corvairs. This is an interesting little lot right here. And something that I want to prove. Everything's like bubble wrapped and it's like supposed to like a little fire or something. Staplers. This is like bald is extra organized. Wow. It's just garage stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm exhausted. I said, you know what, I want to call it a wrap because it wasn't quite as exciting as I was anticipating. Pretty much have not looked in most any box in this trailer right now. We're going to save this to film for another day. Everything I thought was interesting, we set aside. Also, we have this tons of boxes in here still to go through, but they're books and things like this. We'll be back another day to wrap this baby. I don't think it's going to be one day, but nonetheless, what do you think, Uncle Michael? I think it's a great thing. Some great nice. flea market stuff. These were the pins right here. They're kind of neat. They're little vintage pins from the 60s and 70s. This right here was Sterling. There's all sorts of little cool little pins here. That was neat. And then you come over here. And these are a few things. I sold some on my online auction. They're all racing plaques from the 60s. These things have a value of anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks a piece. But watch this. It's like there's literally over 80 of them. Slides of the March, Memorial Mix-Up, the Unlimited Corvairs, the Corvair Club, Bay Corvairs. We got first Daniel Golden State Grand Prix. We got just all sorts of different plaques from cars. These are all, like I said, worth anywhere from 20 or 10 to 30 bucks a piece. They're all from the 60s. Grand Prix, 1966, 1966. I wonder if we could find one from the day Uncle Michael was born. He'd probably like that. <laughs> Just because it's from the day he was born. Yeah. He was born in 1960, I believe. Scat. You just see tons of them, right? Look, this whole box was nothing but these. These might be a future ad you'll be listing, son. That's sick. Maybe. Look, Pow Wow. Car Club. They're all Car Club stuff. Car Club. Car Club. Are you doing good footage of these? Grand Prix like Finale. Time. Scat, Scat. Sports Imports, Vexation Series. You just keep going and going. There's so many different plaques here. I figure there's probably over $1,000 in plaques. There's 84 of them. I'm guessing maybe. I haven't really put any on eBay. I've tried nine on my YouTube auction. They didn't do too well for my eyes. Makes me want to just list them one at a piece on eBay. Because the idea is to make me look at Trans Am 1970. I bet you that one's like a $50 plaque right there. You can just see tons of them. I don't want to, can, you can see you just go through them right there. There's a bunch of them. And also these patches came from there. I don't know what the National Speological Society is. There's several of those and I got even more for sale. But that was a quick little recap. I'm quite certain I'm definitely gonna make some money. This unit so far, we haven't even seen nothing. Like I said, I've been moving stuff to set aside to pack, but we were, we're finding great finds. So I think this was definitely a good buy and stay tuned because there'll be plenty more of them. Don't forget to like button, share button, subscribe and tell Michael what a good cameraman he is. Yup.